We have new details from witnesses tonight after a child was hit by a foul ball at an Indians game. It happened last night during the game against the Gwinnett Stripper, Stripers at Victory Field. That's where News 8's Julia Dang joins us live. Julia, what do we know about this child? Nina, the child was sitting along the first baseline when he was hit by the ball. He was taken to a local hospital after EMTs treated him here at the stadium. Uh, this is all according to a statement from the team. They haven't shared the child's name, any details about his injuries or his age. They are only identifying him now as a young fan. People who were at the game say it was a boy who appeared to be between five and eight. A woman who was sitting a few rows in front of that family turned around right after he was hit. Joanna Allen told News 8, you could not hear anything except for, unfortunately, him. Just the screams were horrific. She added she is now petrified to bring her granddaughter to a game because it could happen to anyone. Four days ago, a girl was hit by a foul ball during a Chicago Cubs game. Major League Baseball called that incident extremely upsetting. Unfortunately, though, far from the first time that happened. Uh, with me right now is Courtney Forrester and family. And uh, Courtney, this actually happened to you right here at Victory Field 21 years ago. Talk to me about that day. Yeah, so we were sitting out on the lawn, uh, me and my family coming to enjoy a game just like any family would do. And there was a home run ball hit out, and uh, my dad tried to block it. It was the sun was just bright and missed it, and it hit me in the head. And I had a shattered skull, a blood clot on my brain, and major surgery. And I'm lucky that I'm here today to talk about it. But. I mean, that is horrific thinking about that now. You were nine years old at the time. Uh, what was that recovery like? You know, at the time you're a kid, you don't think about those things. Um, so I, I vaguely remember, uh, you know, people just coming and sending things to me. And, you know, I missed some time out of school for it. Uh, now it's hard for me to come to games. Uh, last time I came to a game was actually when I was pregnant with my son. He's now eight. And he, you know, we are very involved in baseball, and it's still hard for me now. But it's something that you don't want to take away from the kids and the rest of the family. When it is something you enjoy, so I go and I try to make the best of it and just hope that it doesn't happen again. Anna, we, we caught you on a, a really interesting day here, Courtney. You yeah. look beautiful. You're in a gown here because you are taking your engagement photos here at Victory Field. Uh, talk to me about what your fiance wanted to do. He, he wanted to take the worst day of your life. Yeah, uh, we're like I said, we're very involved with baseball. Uh, he proposed last August um, on third baseline at a little league game uh, that we were out of our sons, and he got down on one knee. And with that, he said, uh, the, "I want to make the worst day of your life the best day of your life. Will you marry me?" And so we came back here today, and the photographer was able to get it worked out and went out on third baseline, took some pictures, and had some fun. This is incredible. Courtney, thank you for taking the time to talk. And we're going to have much more from Courtney, Kyle, and Alexander here tonight at 10. For now, reporting live, Julia Dang, Wish TV, News 8.